Welcome to Composer's Voice. Composer's Voice is an opportunity for contemporary composers to express their aesthetic and their personal voice. This episode of Composer's Voice, we will be featuring musicians Thomas Piercy and Lish Lindsay. Flutist Alicia Lish Lindsay was born in South Korea and grew up in New Jersey, 15 minutes outside of Philadelphia, where Jimmy's and Sprinkles are considered two different confectionery toppings. She currently resides in the heart of New York City's theater district. As a freelance musician, she has enjoyed performing with some of the most engaging and vibrant musicians in the United States, as well as Japan, China, Italy, England, and Wales. Thomas Piercy is based in Tokyo and New York City's Hell's Kitchen. He has been described by the New York Times as brilliant, playing with refinement and flair, evoking a panache in the contemporary works. A frequent performer of new music, Mr. Piercy has premiered over 300 compositions composed for him. The composers have ranged from 10 years to 97 years of age and come from all walks of life and experience. From university students to university professors, from self-taught composers to composers with PhDs, from emerging composers to composers who have won such prominent awards, such as the Grammy Award, the Latin Grammy Award, the Takamitsu Prize, the Geneva Prize, and the Pulitzer Prize. Jake Adams, born in 1996, is a composer, guitarist, ethnomusicologist, and teacher from Brighouse, West Yorkshire. Jake's work primarily explores the field of cross-cultural composition with a focus on using approaches to microtonality, form, timbre from different cultures, as well as creating new works for non-Western instruments. Respect for the cultures from which he is learning is key to Jake's work, and as such, collaboration is a key factor within his practice.
Uh, my piece is um, called Him for Lou and Bill. Uh, I wrote it quite a while ago when I lived in Tokyo. Um, it's actually written in a block notation originally, but I've also written it in a Western notation. And so it's technically two pieces put into one. There's Him for Lou, who is Lou Harrison, and Him for Bill, who is Bill Kolvig. So you can play each part separately or you can put them together. And it's uh, kind of the idea of two people kind of dancing and weaving in and out. So it's uh, kind of a very physical thing that I was trying to put to uh, sound.
Michael Shelley, born in 1950 in Philadelphia, was raised in northern New Jersey and graduated from the Northern Highlands High School, where as captain of the track team, he held the all-state distant records in the javelin, shot put, and hammer for three years running. Now, 30-plus years running as a composer-in-residence and founder-director of the notorious new music ensemble, JCA Composers Orchestra, at Butler University in Indianapolis. He has been twice nominated for the Pulitzer Prize in Music, a finalist for the International Humor in Poetry Competition, a published author of a book about film music, and a restaurant critic. David Loeb, born in New York City, May 11, 1939, is an American composer of contemporary classical music. For 35 years, he has composed extensively for traditional Japanese instruments and for early music instruments. He teaches at the Manis College, the New School for Music, and has additionally served as a member of composition faculty at the Curtis Institute of Music.
Yes, my piece, uh, a little piece in the alley looking at the sky, it was written for Thomas Sun for solo. And then it was written during the COVID. And then Tom Sun was in Japan and I was in the United States. And then Tom Sun was stuck in Japan and taking photos, beautiful photos of Japan in Tokyo. And I was able to see it through Facebook. And then that gave me an inspiration to write uh, something nostalgic. Like I, I like to visit Japan, but I cannot go. And then Thomson wants to come back to the United States, but he can't come back. <laughs> so I wanted to put two elements in, in the piece. One is from American folk tune and the Japanese folk tune, and then I kind of mix them, mix them up and then make it a little Western influence, but also kind of Japanese influence piece. So thank you so much for including my piece and beautiful performance.